Hey guys, Billy Wing here with Die Precision, and today we're going to be looking at the Die DFF20 LPR for your autococker. And we're going to just go through, talk about the features, talk about what makes it a very good, reliable, high flow, low pressure regulator, and why we think it's the best regulator on the market. Okay, I've got my free flow reflex die autococker here, and this is this is my baby. And it's got all the die components on it that uh, you can fit on a cocker, but we're going to focus on the LPR and why we like it so much. So it's a nice compact design. It doesn't stick out any further than your, your RAM, which is nice for packaging. Uh, the adjustment knob is, is a large knob. It, it's you know close to half the length of the, no of the regulator. And what that really allows us to do is when you can get a really good grip on it, you're not just fiddling with a little tiny knob at the end, uh, or you're not stuck, you know, just turning a, a screw with a tool. But we get a lot of overlap, which allows us to include an O-ring in here for friction so that it doesn't get knocked out of adjustment. It is very pretty smooth. There's not a lot of things to catch. So when it's in your bag or, or just sitting around, not aired up, the knob is is quite stiff. So it's it's not going to come get knocked out of knocked out of position or adjustment like that. And then if if it does become tight for any reason, these cross holes not only look cool, but you can run a tool through there so you can get very easy leverage to adjust your LPR pressure. But besides it looking cool, easy to work with. Uh, Service-wise, it's almost toolless. Uh, you probably do going to want a 7 16 wrench, uh, nice wrench to be able to take this out. But for serviceability, it's fantastic because once you get the rear cap off and the front cap off, that's about it. We do run a coiled spring, so there's no concern about a shim stack or anything goofy like that. Uh, you know, you don't have to worry about getting the shim stack just right. Uh, you know, you can't you can't really go wrong putting the spring in. So the piston is a big, heavy piston, a lot of mass, so it 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 will shift very deliberately. But the main thing we did is we we made it a pretty long piston with two O-rings on it to ensure that it runs smooth. That no matter what the spring's doing, no matter what the air is doing, no matter what the the reg seat and pin are doing, this is gonna run smooth back and forth. We're not gonna we don't have to worry about it getting canted and bound up in there. It's just gonna run smooth and clean all the time. It's two standard O14 O rings. It just slides in. Spring just drops in and then you've got the cap there. Uh, we do run a nice spring guide both front and back so that spring is going to be well supported all the time. Uh, back of the reg is housed in the cap so it's a real simple clean design. Again, you know, it doesn't take much to open it up. Uh, probably the, the key feature here is the reg seat itself. This reg seat which is replaceable it's also flippable so you can flip it over but this is the same reg seat we use in our DFF 20 hyper regs it's the same reg seat we use in the M3 the DSR all our, our modern contemporary regs at die use the same seat so it's readily available it's easy to get to uh, easy to get a hold of cheap easy to stock in your repair kit all that good stuff it's hard to see but We've done quite a bit of effort in porting, so we have just no flow restriction. I think if you look closely in there, you can see that the hole or the cavity that the pin and pin spring sit in have lobes cut out of it, three lobes cut out of it, so that you get flow around it very well. And that just sits in there, no problem. And then a simple cap, that, which operates as your sealing surface and retainer all in one very good flow rate the spring we spec'd out does have quite a bit of deflection a lot of compression so you're not just relying on a very short 
open and close. This has a pretty long travel path. So you get a lot of lift on that seat that allows a lot of flow very quickly. Uh, because we went with a bigger diameter, the chamber itself is, is a good sized chamber. Uh, that's why this is cut down here. So we don't maintain a, a solid diameter from the threads. We cut it down nice and tight uh, to increase the chamber size. So you get um, reliable flow and reliable air supply. But that is the whole LPR. Uh, I wish there was more to talk about, but we really tried to keep it simple with you know just performance and reliability in mind. Uh, but please definitely check it out. Uh, you know sometimes less is more. Uh, you know so you're gonna get a lot of reliability, a lot of performance out of a very simple, easy to maintain and service package. So, but please uh, stop by dyepaintball.com, go to your local retailers, any retailer that carries dye products and also autococker products is gonna have these in stock as well as the whole cocker product line typically. So please check it out and decide for yourself if you think it's the best LPR on the market. Um, so I hope you enjoyed our little run through on the LPR and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.